Hey guys, Anthony Tackett. As some of you may know from my last video, I got a 3D printer, which I'm super stoked about. I'm out in my shop today, my office is closed, so I figured I'd go ahead and shoot a review of this guy. This is the Monoprice Select Mini, so let's go ahead and, and dive in. Before I start reviewing this, I do want to go ahead and put out a disclaimer and say that I'm a woodworker, I'm a graphic designer by trade. I don't pretend to know a ton about 3D printers and what they can do. But what I do know is that this guy has been an absolute tank for me and I've been able to create some really neat things that I'll share with you guys uh, and hopefully it'll help you in forming your decision if you're looking for a 3D printer. So this is the Monoprice Select Mini as I mentioned before. It has a really small footprint. It's about just under 10 inches this way, 7.5 ish uh, in depth. I've had mine setting and running on a small TV tray. so super small. So the print capacity on this is 4.7 inches in every direction. I've been printing on blue painters tape and have only used PLA so far. My friend Joe Mike Terranella, who also has a great review out on this printer, came over, gave me some tips and helped me get started and he actually brought over a spool of black PLA for me to try. So that's what I've been using. I do have some ABS in the other room that I will be trying but PLA seemed like a really great place to start. So 4.7 inches if this gives you any sort of perspective. It's not huge but still pretty capable as far as a, a printer, printer bed goes. Just to kind of call out a few of the little additions I made per Joe's recommendation, there is a extension piece that was printed for the knob to get that out so that you can use it a little bit easier. When it comes from the factory, that knob is, is kind of difficult to, to use. You can definitely do it, but it's much easier with the knob extended out. I do have these retaining clips on the Bowden tube, I believe. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on what that guy is called. But anyway, it takes out a lot of the play in the tube and just keeps things nice and tidy. And there's also a little tool holder that we have printed on the back here to hold the uh, micro SD card adapter, Allen key, uh, and so on and so forth. I have been using this with the micro SD card, so I set up all my files, I do my slicing in Cura, and throw them on that SD card and print from there. And I will reiterate again that since I don't know much, I'm going almost entirely off of what I've seen in some other people's videos and even more than that what my buddy Joe has seen and I'll probably link to his channel multiple times throughout this video because again he is an invaluable resource to me but also to you guys when it comes to 3D printing definitely check out his channel check out his videos it's great great content so one other thing I wanted to highlight before I show you what I printed uh, is the fact that my focus is on creating functional tools and, and, and pieces that that I can use either in my everyday carry, which I do have videos on that, or in woodworking, uh, of course, which as you know is, is my passion. So most of what you're going to see uh, is related to one of the two, uh, either everyday carry or woodworking. I do have one sculptural piece that I've done, and we'll get to that in a second. But let's go ahead and look at what I've made, and I'll explain how these things can be beneficial to you as a, as a woodworker. Okay, so the very first thing that I printed was this radius jig which actually comes in handy when you're marking out corners for, for woodworking. So the way that would work is you'd have a piece of wood and you have different radiuses on this jig. Put that up on the corner, grab your pencil, mark out the radius, take that to your bandsaw or your jigsaw, and you're good to go there. So that was the first thing. After that, I printed a series of dovetail marking jigs. As you know, I've been getting into hand cut dovetails uh, and this is one of the things that was really intriguing to me from the beginning. The way these work, it's kind of like a saddle square. sits right on the edge of your material. You mark out your angle. And there you go. You've got your, your lines to go ahead and start cutting out those dovetails. I have these in varying uh, angles. If I wanted to do something that was a little less shallow, this is a 1 to 8 slope. I have a 1 to 6 and also have printed a regular old 90 degree saddle square. One of the next things I printed was this little jig for measuring miter joints accurately. 
And the way this works, at the end of your miter piece of trim or whatever goes right into here. That's where that 45 degree nose goes. And then you take your tape measure, it goes in this slot, and that allows you to measure from the outside of the miter joint, but also if you put this on kind of the uh, obtuse part of the angle, you can measure from here as well. So again, that's kind of a neat little thing. I'd never seen this before, but I'm excited to use it. Haven't used it yet, but you can bet the next trim job I do will include this. Some other things, um, you might not know this, but I'm a musician and I play guitar. And I found a, uh, a file. I get most of my files from Thingiverse, by the way. Uh, I'll put a link below to the description as well as a link to the individual items that I'm showing you here. But I found a link to a thumb pick, which is pretty cool. So if you're a banjo player or like doing finger style guitar, you could print a thumb pick or a string winder. This came off really nice, came off in two pieces, and it works pretty much right out of the gate. Also has a um, a peg puller for acoustic guitars. So, pretty neat. The next thing I'll show you are these angle gauges for my honing guide. Uh, I printed one for hand plane irons and for chisels. And the way these work, I have one of these rolling honing guides that a chisel fits into uh, this way. Uh, and it allows you to run along your sharpening stone at a consistent angle to put a really nice edge on your chisels. The way this works is this butts up against your guide. You insert your chisel and if you want a 35 degree angle your chisel butts up against 35 degrees. You lock down your honing guide and then when you move back and forth on the stone you're actually honing to 35 degrees. It goes 35, 30, 25, 20, uh, so you can kind of pick where you're at. And there's also a little guy in here so you can check the angle of your work. Uh, and I've been honing mine right around 25 degrees, so that's right where this fits with my chisels. Uh, same concept for the plane. Uh, again, little thing I'd never seen before, but why not? You know, if you have the filament and you have the desire or the know-how, uh, why not make something like this? It'll make your life easier as a woodworker. So the next thing I printed was a simple tri-square. And that is a square, so you guys know what a square is. Fits on the board. Mark off your right angle. And go. We've got these SD cards thrown all over the house. So it's nice having a little holder that sits underneath our computer or underneath our monitor for storing our SD cards. So that's cool. And I guess the uh, the only thing I've printed that's more of an art piece is this uh, helmet from Batman v Superman. I thought it might be kind of fun to print this off, paint it, distress it, try and make it look like the screen-used helmet. Um, big Superman, big Batman fan, so that was pretty cool to me. So, all in all, this thing has been an absolute beast. I've printed so much stuff that I haven't even shown you. I did print a little cap for our baby gate to hold the gate open when we're not really concerned about you know the kids going up and down the stairs so that was cool I designed that in Tinkercad uh, which is an online tool it's free it's great I'll put a link in the description for that but again guys I just wanted this to be a quick video to overview the Monoprice Select Mini these things are just like 200 bucks and if you're looking to get into 3D printing if you're curious if you're going to be able to create something useful that's more than just a little plastic boat or a little sculptural piece you put on your desk, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But you can create things that you can use on a daily basis to help make your life easier. So for 200 bucks, uh, the Monoprice Select Mini is an absolute buy for me. And if you're curious about it, uh, that's a pretty low entry point into 3D printing. And it is a workhorse of a machine. It will not let you down. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It's really encouraging and lets me know that, that you like what I do and, and you want me to continue making videos. Uh, if you like 3D printing related content and you want to hear about it uh, from my perspective or from a beginner or a woodworker's perspective, like this video so I'll know that you want to see more 3D printing related content on this channel. Uh, but anyway... 
thanks for humoring me and, and letting me take a few minutes of your day. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of it, and I'll see you next time.